So, hello guys, I can welcome you back on a brand new video. Well, I think you must be very sad from me that I have not uploaded a video from a long time. Well, because I had uh, exams that time and I had a lot of fever, that's why. But don't worry, because I am back with a new video. And in this, we are going to recreate World War Two. Yes, World War Two. Like Japan, Germany, Italy versus Russia, Russia, USA, uh, France, UK. So we have recreated World War Two. You have, you must have seen many scenes. Like many countries switching sides. Like mainly India, Myanmar, Thailand. Most of the East uh, Asia has switched sides. So, without wasting any time, let's start this video. So guys, first, let's see who are, who are the basic countries who are the, in the side of the uh, Axis powers. That are like um, Greenland, then our Greenland, then I... Iceland Iceland Ireland UK France Nether sorry so the uh, access power countries are Greenland Ireland um, Sweden Finland Germany Hungary Rom Romania Bulgaria or Turkey Italy Spain uh, Portugal Morocco then teacher German colonies. Then Argentina as the fight of Auckland Island. Uruguay, um, Uruguay uh, Paraguay. Child as Bolivian child has a fight from a long time. So Bolivia will be a Tiplo team as child is in the red team. Then Peru and Edugar. Then let's come into Asia. That's Turkey, Syria, Israel, no. Well, I think, no, it's Jordan because the previous time is it, Israel was basically a part of Jordan only. But I will, I'm going to make Israel a separate country. And it will separately join the blue team. Then Jordan, Iraq, Kuwait, then Iran, Afghanistan, India, uh, Sri Lanka, Myanmar, Nepal, Bhutan, Tibet, uh, Japanese Empire, Japanese, Korean Japanese colony, then Mongolia, then a uh, Chinese colony of uh, a uh, Japanese colony in China, then German then Japanese colony in the Asia then German colony then Mother Sagar Utopia means Italian colony. So these are so these are the uh, team of it and else or are the in the team of um blue. Well, I was not able to decide what team will I choose for this Switzerland. So I just uh, divided Switzerland into two parts. One part for Germany and the other part for France. Yeah, guys. So, guys, once we did it, no, without wasting any time, let's start the fight. So, first and all, we see as as we see it summer currently. So, the Axis will have many defeats in Russia, basically. So we see that first that the Soviet Union is pushing back in Turkey and uh, Iran. 
but here we see that the German colony is pushing back the excess powers are pushing are pushing back the Soviet Union. We see some defeats in Finland also and Norway fully fully literated. Yugoslavia and Greece easily captured some part of Italy captured. We see that France has made a defeat in Italy and the and Germany. Well the basic plan of France is that they will capture this part, then they will capture Denmark, then Norway, then Sweden and Earth, and then they will capture again Finland, then they will attack then they will again take on the Soviet Union part and from this part they will move on from this part and also this part by which they will defeat them. In this part we see that this Soviet Union pushing back here and Afghanistan also push back a lot in China also, India and Tibet has pushed back a lot with the Japanese Empire and Mongolia. We see Mongolia being captured by the Soviet Union, some parts of Mongolia. Even some Japanese colonies over there are being captured. We see... Um, We see that the Japanese Empire has made some defeats in China and the Soviet Union. All right. <coughs> and now <coughs> in Australia. It's very widely that Australia will be defeated by the Red Team, so they are taking some parts. We see that the naval invasion from here goes to New Zealand, capture it, and then it also captured this island of Australia. And they start another phase in Australia from here, and from here by Madhasagar and India. We see this part also has an, a small naval invasion by Indonesia. This part too has a uh, naval invasion, but a large one. In Africa, we see mainly they have taken over the German colonies basically and Germany has also taken some colonies we see basically the red team winning currently <clears throat> but the faces can change <clears throat> but now red team is winning so that time now so that time blue team will win it can happen like that but in real world it only happened that once uh, the germans were like they were in the pose of winning and just the allied power <coughs> were uh, going to surrender but the pace changed with the full power they defeated. Very Matasaka completely capitulated. We see that we see um, that basically they are being captured. 
and only our sentinel is left. As USA is mainly focused over this part, the Germans are pushed back the fence and taken over. Netherlands, Belgium, and Luxembourg. We see that Spain has attacked France with Italy and Germany. Well, now uh, Great Britain is not um, is not um, work is not uh, fighting in the war, but uh, they are helping because there is no uh, invasion over there. We see that they they have pushed back the Soviet Union invasion there. We see complete capsulation of Mongolia and we see that Japanese colony act is back and they have taken over full China which taking over the whole Southeast Asia. We see that they have moved forward in the front of Afghanistan. And it is seeming like Soviet Union is going to be captured soon and with returning their colony of Mongolia. From here we see that Iran and Turkey have started an invasion and they have quite reached much far. But as we all know that the Russian capital is quite far. What the Germans cannot do, that will Iran and Turkey do. Well, it's some like over here. Now in the Middle East, we see that the whole Middle East is taken over by the Red Team. We see that <coughs> that they have taken over the parts. They have taken over the German colonies and all. Means the whole means that is divided into two parts: the South Africa and the uh, and the North Africa. North Africa controlled by the uh, Axis powers, and the South Africa controlled by the Allied powers. So now let's go forward. We see that they have taken over the Caption Sea, and now you and now. We see that they are very close to the capital of Moscow, to the capital of Soviet Union. As we basically no one lives over here, so they can easily take over this. And also it's summer, so they have to do it very fast. Because if one summer is over, they can't defeat the Soviet Union so easily. We see that they've taken over France with only a little part left. A small invasion of UK started taking over London. We see that Ireland switching sides, taking over the North I or Northern Ireland. New country formed, Scotland. And, take, and helping the Axis powers taking over the full UK and France. We see it now in Australia. We see that Australia is completely is now only a little left part of Australia and only a little coastline left.
okay guys so once this has been done in this we see that completely um south america has been eradicated means taken over by and they have taken over this part and also in africa we see that the german army is moving forward indian army taking over mother sagar once again and with the full capturing of africa and falling under to the axis powers so now in so now in uh, soviet union we see that they are very 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 close to the moscow means the capital of a soviet union so now finally they have taken over the full soviet union and now what is left is the northern hemisphere now we will basically see only that uh, they have taken over they have taken over the greenland they started invasion from russia and taking over this part even took over canada the full us are not being captured because it's very powerful it started a, a small invasion in brazil is starting some small invasion and taking over full of it taking over the whole south america and as this part is not connected with minty means the north america can't connect with the south america they can easily take over the all west colonies and uh, and the falkland islands falling under the argentina control we see that they have started invasion in central america taking over full of the central africa cuba also been falling into oh, axis powers switching sides and now just mexico and us is left that will be easily taken over by the red team um see some parts of usa started being captured mexico fully captured but they have they will not start invasion from mexico and then only usa some parts is left means USA is also falling under the Axis power control because Washington is being annexed and with the victory of the Red Team. So if you enjoyed this video, then make sure to like this video and subscribe my channel. Meet me in the next video. Bye bye. Tata. Goodbye. And meet you in the next video. Bye.